we will be discussing the programming with 8255. We will see how to choose a control word and how we can write the control word into the control word register of 8255. Let us now briefly explain the internal structure of 8255 along with the control word. In the internal structure of 8255, we can see a register which is called control register. Sometimes it is also called control word register. The content of register is called the control word. Control word bits are used to program the ports of 8255. It is also used to select the mode in which 8255 will be programmed. It is sometimes programmed in basic IO and sometimes it is programmed in handshaking mode. Microprocessor can only write to the control register. Read operation is not allowed. The control register can be selected using the A1 and the A0 pin of 8255 by applying high logic to both the pins that is 1 1. As it has already been discussed in the earlier lecture. Let us see the control word format of 8255. The format is of 8 bit. Now let's see how the format is used. Well, in this format, group B and group A and IO mode are programmed. Now let's see how it happens. For control of group B, there are three bits that is D0, D1 and D2. In group B, we have port C lower and port B. Now, when the D0 bit is set to 0, that means the port C lower now will act as output port. If it is set to 1, then the port C lower will act as input. Now, to remember this, you can just see the similarity of 0 with output that is O and the similarity of 1 with I of input. So we can easily remember 0 means output and 1 means input. So if we apply a 0 logic at the position D0, we are actually setting the port C lower as output port. Similarly, when the D1 bit is used, port B is controlled using D1. So if 0 is set, that means port B is now acting as output port. And when it is 1, it will act as input port. Now the D2 bit is reserved for the mode selection. So if it is 0, mode 0 is selected for, for group B. And if it is 1, mode 1 is selected for group B. Now let's move on to group A. In group A, D3 is reserved for controlling port C upper. It is in the similar fashion. 0 means output and 1 means input. And the bit D4 is for port A. Now again 0 means output and 1 means input. Now D5 and D6 are used for selection of the group A mode. Now if it is 0, 0, group A will work in mode 0. If it is 0, 1, group A will work as mode 1. And if it is 1x, 1x, x means don't care condition. That means 
even if we provide a signal 1 0 mode 2 will be selected even if we provide 1 1 again the same mode 2 will be selected now d7 bit is reserved for io mode if it is 1 the entire 8255 will work as io mode and if it set to 0 the 8255 will work in bit set reset mode now how 8255 can work in bit set reset mode we will take that up in our next lecture now let us take a simple example we have already discussed the interfacing of 8255 with 8085 in io mapped io method in our previous lectures in our previous lectures we had reserved the 80 address for port a 81 address for port b 82 address for port c and 83 address for control register which is inside the 8255 now we will stick to the same interfacing strategy and move on to explain a simple example now in this example we will set the port a as output port and port b as in port and transfer the content available at port b to the port a in order to do this the control word of 8255 needs to be set in such a manner that port a acts as output port and port b acts as import similarly let the mode of operation be basic that is basic io operation so we will select the mode to be zero basic input output mode it does not matter how we program port c in this case we will consider it to be as an input in this slide we will see the format of the control word if we want to use the 8255 in basic io mode or in the io mode operation we have to provide a one in the d seventh position the group a consists of port a and port c above we are going to use this in the basic io mode so we will be selecting mode zero so the d6 and d5 bits are set to 0 0 now we know port a in our example has to be programmed as output so we will select 0 here at the d4 position it doesn't matter how we select the port c as we are not using port c in my example I have set it as 1 means it will work as in port but for your sake you can also select 0 0 or any other combination you want as far as we are not using port C it doesn't matter whatever be the bit combination at the position D3 or D0 the control of group B again it will give as mode 0 so we are setting d2 as 0 we have to program the port b as in port so we are choosing 1 and d1 location and now the control word becomes 8b look into the upper nibble it is 1 triple 0 means 8 and 1011 means b So what is the solution? First, the control word for the set configuration of ports, which is 8B, has to be selected. Then we have to program the 8255 with the control word. 8255 is interfaced using IOMAP IO technique. So 
we can only use two instructions that are possible for 8085 or in and out. Write the control word to the accumulator. Write to the control register of 8255. Read the content of port B into accumulator. Write the content of accumulator to port A. And then stop. Now how this will be carried out in 8085? We can use the immediate group of instruction which is MVIA 8B means store the control word to the accumulator. We can very well see the control word is 8B. Then send that out and write it to the control register. So we can use out 83. Here 83 hex means the port address of the control word register. Next get the information from port B. The information that is available in port B will be read using the instruction in 81 hex. As we can see 81 is the port address of port B. So the information available at port B will be transferred to the accumulator. We also know that the accumulator is the by default register for in and out instruction. The next is out 80 hex means send the information available in the accumulator to the port A which is now acting as out port. Let us see how it is carried out. MVIA 8B before this instruction gets executed there can be anything in accumulator. Now once we execute this instruction the accumulator is presently having 8B hex. The control word is presently inside the accumulator and the accumulator is the CPU register internal register so presently after the execution of this instruction the microprocessor 8085 in its accumulator register will have the content 8B. Let us now write the content of accumulator into the control word register of 8255. So to do that we have used the instruction out 83. Now when we use out 83 the content of accumulator since we all know the accumulator is the by default register for in and out instruction. The accumulator is presently having 8B inside it and using out 83 which means send out the content of accumulator to the port address 83 and we all know the port address 83 means the internal address register for the control register of 8255. So once it is executed the control register of 8255 will have the content 8B. The content of 8B will be written into control register only after the assertion of IO write signal. Again we know that the control register can only be written into and we, we cannot read anything from the control register and hence to accomplish this instruction we need IO W that is IO write. Once the control word is written into the control register of 8255 the information inside the control word will program the 8255 in the manner which we want and in our case we will we have programmed 8255's port A as out port and port B as in port and in the mode 0 that is basic IO operation. So now what we have to do is we have to read the content of in port and read that into accumulator. Once we use the in instruction where in 81 means the content available at the port B should be read into 
the accumulator. Let us assume that a data 47 is available at the port B. After the assertion of IO read, the 47 will be available and written into the accumulator. In this way, we can get the information which is available at the port B into the accumulator. We have the content that was available in port B into the CPU register that is the accumulator. Now we have to write that to port A. To do that we are using the instruction out 80 hex where 80 hex is the port address of port A. After the execution of this instruction the content of accumulator that is 47 will be available in the address bus and once we provide a IO write signal the content from the address bus will be written into port A. So to conclude in this video tutorial we have seen the format of control word of A255. How can we use the control word of A255 to program the IO ports? Then the interfacing of A255 with Intel 8085 and IO mapped IO method, the basic circuit diagram and the port addresses and explanation with an example including the assembly language program for 8085. I hope you have liked the video and if you have liked the video kindly subscribe to the channel INET Tech Talk. Thank you, thank you very much for watching the video.